What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be in I'll be in introducing you guys to the concept of limits. In the last video, we talked about what calculus really is, and this is th this is what brings calculus together. Um, so in this video, we'll be covering uh, the intuitive de definition of the limits, limit notation, and what a limit really means. So, and also remember, it, it's a great day to change lives, so let's hop right into it. Okay, so, if you guys remember, alright, so, so the definition of a, of a derivative. So, if you guys remember the tangent line problem, this is the best way to describe the limits. Okay, so, so let's take a curve. Okay, and, and so let, let's title this at A. And let's and let's put that as point P. We're trying to find the slope of this tangent line, if you guys remember. Okay, and the slopes. If we take a slope from zero to P uh, to A at point P, that gives us a uh, secant or a point P uh, Q. That gives us to point Q. That gives us a point pretty much that that gives that that gives us a. a an approximation to the points uh, to the tangent line at, at point P, and if we take points getting closer and closer, we eventually uh, get better approximations. Eventually, we'll get to the point to where we could say, okay, the limit is this, or the the slope of the tangent line is this. So essentially, what we're trying to say, uh, so essentially what we're saying is this value of the slope, so the rate of change. So the rate of change is uh, close, is getting closer to f of x as x approaches a. As so, pretty much what we're saying here is as x as x gets closer to a value, or as x gets closer to a value from the left and right of uh, of a, we approach a uh, point P, and so that's the definition of the limits, and that, and we write that in mathematics as the limits as x approaches a of um of f of x is equal to a number l. Okay. Or in this case, we use p. It, it really it doesn't matter as much. Um, pretty. So pr pretty much what this is saying is, okay, uh, we are getting closer, uh, infinitely close, to uh, a value as x of f, as x gets closer to a. So pretty much, um, we really don't care what happens at B or what happens at Z in this case. We don't care what happens into the next numbers. All we care about is really what's close. All right, it, it, A doesn't have to equal A. It doesn't have to equal A. So the limit doesn't have to equal A, but it, really it has to be really close to A to, for a limit to exist, if it makes sense. Um, so, and there's another notation we use. We can use to uh, X x approaches a as x approaches a um sorry f of x approaches p as x approaches a so essentially we're trying to find a value not directly equal but we're, we're trying to describe the, the behavior as as x gets close to close to p in this case uh, or as uh, or as x gets close to a, uh, a and the function approaches p and uh, from both the left side and the right side so we go so pretty much what what this allows us to do is it allows us to um so th this allows us to define the derivative which I'll do in a future video and it allows us to actually develop the tools we need.
for calc. Okay, so an another thing I wanted to mention, okay. All right, so pre-calc and then in calc. All right, so the only, t so I get asked this a lot by, by students when I'm tutoring them. What is the difference between pre-calculus and calculus? Well, the, the only difference is, um, there isn't really a difference. The, we, we use, pre-calc is pretty much used to give us the skills that we need. But to jump up, we need limits. What these limits allows us to do is look at anything. So it, it lets us look at, at things on a small scale, uh, small things or change, uh, small things, um, meaning, uh, meaning changes. On a small scale, pretty much, and so that's the main difference be, be, uh, between the two. Um, so, and there's multiple ways we can solve limits. Uh, we can solve limits by uh, limits. Uh, solved uh, graphically, algebraically, and with a chart slash calculator. I also call this the guess guess method. Um, and lastly, um, and so this comes from limit laws. Okay, with that being said, guys. Uh, I, uh, we we have reached our peak today, for uh, for our time. Uh, essentially, uh, essentially what we're, what what we're talking about is okay. Limits li limits allow us to find any rate of change, or pretty much limits uh, li limits allow us to look at any function at a microscopic uh, at a infinitely small uh, interval as x change uh, as x changes the function changes. I'll see you guys next video.